Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Arts. Today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a simple braid hairstyle using Blender Particle System. For those of you that have been subscribed to my channel, sorry I've not posted video in a while. Um, this year I have been kind of too busy for me because I'm in my final year of my college so I'm trying to focus more on school. Um, but I'm beginning to get more relief so I want to put up something for you guys which I um, came across in my free time. So today we'll be working with Susan. I've added subdivision and applied it because I just like working with subdivision, uh, subdivided mesh. Um, next we'll just add our particle system. So for beginners you can find it in the sparkle icon right here. Um, but for the rest you already know where you can find your particle system. So we'll just call this hair. Um, a generic name so you will find emitter you want to change the um, emitter type to hair okay so you get this um, extrusion of hair uh, which is cool so next we just want to quickly set the length of the hair I'll just leave it at one and since for this tutorial we'll not be doing any modification yet right in, in this start but we'll do it later what you want to do now is just turn the number to zero okay so first of all we want to like create a precept a preset so that um, after we are done with creating that preset it's then easy for us to just apply it to the rest of um, our grooming um, when we are done so so let's just create a quick preset so for this preset, we'll quick and grab our add brush. So I want to set the step to 12 and the keys to 12. Okay. Um, also, I want to set the count to something like 3 and turn on children. So for the part draw, I want to set it to 6 for now. Okay. So then we just need to click on one spot and we're getting just three strands of hair okay uh, I'll just align it so I want it to just look straight like this so I'll just use this to create a preset then we'll work from it oh. um, so we're creating a preset so we want to go into the children and select simple so most of you may make, um, avoid using simple because it seems a bit hard to control, but it's quite a very powerful. Uh, it has so many powerful uh, um, manipulators which you could create use to create custom styles of hair, which I will try to go over maybe in another video. Um, so um, what you want to do first of all is turn down the radius. So normally I just go with 0 0.04. Um, four or most time five. I will just leave it at 0 0.03 to just bring it in together. So we get something like this. I want to just straighten this a bit. So I just get in this bunch of bunch of hair right here. So I want to turn on the roundness to one because without it you get a flat looking um, hair. So you just turn it to one. So uh, one problem you get with using the simple hair algorithm is this kind of unclean display of the roots of the hair so to fix that I want to select all and just right now it's not doing anything so I want to switch it to the vertex hair manipulation mode and you can actually move the whole hair system to somewhere at least for this preset setting I'll just keep it somewhere there and go back and click on um, check the root and the length um, we want to turn on <coughs> the base spline to just smooth it out a bit um, next don't worry these are just to improve the display of the hair uh, we're not yet getting into the details so just increase the steps of the head to make it more smooth for example if I should turn off reduce the draw step to, to you get this kind of blocky um, very const um, blocky kind of deformation but crazy it's like just increasing the quality of a curve okay so that's what I'm doing by increasing the steps 
So for the font parts, you want to go to the braid right here. So by default, you just get this mess, um, which can come in hand in some situation. Um, but this now this is far from what we want. Um, so I will just increase the display to 50. Okay. Um, next, I will turn down the attitude to, to something like 0 .04. Um, just looking cool. Um, I think 0 0.03. Then for the frequency, uh, if you have dealt with um, a modifier called simple default modifier, it's like the twist um, factor. So the frequency is the twist factor. So if I should increase it something like that, you notice it twists more. Like, okay, so just increase it to something like 15. So right now we have to work with the scale of the model. So it looks a bit weird, so I'll just leave it at maybe 8 or 10. Cool. Um, so, yeah, it's looking like bread, but it's still not what we want. So I want to um, go to into the clamp. So I checked on the used, used clamp curve. So just set the tip down a bit. And it's a bit too much. Okay. And do this for the bottom right here and just pull this up okay cool so we're still getting it's still not looking like a braided hair so you want to just turn down aptitude more and then increase the display To like 100 so we have actually started getting that braided look so it's not looking quite um, uh, at, uh, it's looking a bit unattached because we need to uh, is that selecting this so you can actually move them individually so I want to just move it a bit closer okay So, yeah. So it can also work like it can the presets can also work like this if I set the count creation count to one and I just click it, click on it, so you get braid immediately just from that one curve. Okay. So, but if you want it to look a bit fuller, um, creating multiple. Um, Creating multiple curves to me and, and mesh them together makes it look more authentic. Um, so if you want it to actually look like real braid, you increase the number to like three, so as you can start seeing or getting their look. And yeah, if you want to scale it up a bit, you can use reduce the clump, but keep the clump at one. And yep. <clears throat> so you could also just keep playing with it till you think and that's too much so like 12 anyway so that's basically the preset um let's say i'm happy with this preset of red right here which is quite cool and yeah so now we have created this preset we can go ahead and delete it so we don't need that again so we'll just get our add brush set it to something like five brush stroke and turning on my s you know what i will just work on one side just to show you how it looks like if i turn on children so we're getting our braid already so if it since it's looking for you can just set to 0.5 it increases it up a bit so i'll just pause the video and do some just clean it up and let's see what how it looks uh okay so i'm done grooming it so as you can see this is how it looks like so it's just a rough groom so 
but turn on the children quickly so you can see based on that preset it's following it so if we increase the children to like uh, 150 so the more the dense the more the higher the children files go the more authentic it to look if you increase the draw get more realistic result so I want to make it look this a bit thin so I'm trying to by moving this cup up you create like a more bulgy it's like freeze up a bit so it looks bigger more fuller right and you can see go in and just push it up So just add more randomization you can just play with this and you don't want to go too much so yeah. cool so basically that's it that's how you can create braided hair inside of blender So if you want to increase it, you can increase the steps. So the more the steps, as I said earlier, is like adding more resolution to your curve, um, the more beautiful it will look. So that's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. So this is just an introduction and like a welcome back video for me because from now on I'll be trying to post videos regularly with this kind of awesome tips. If you found found it very interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. See you very soon. Bye bye for now.